everyone open up your ears and open up your hearts and spread your legs and we're gonna jump right into this okay tell me about a time you lost and gained aura this is the first submission there was this one girl in my band class who was rude to this other girl who had a mental handicap and after i told her off that's all they put you didn't tell me how you told them off though did you call them a slur did you <laughs> i give that plus three aura good on you for standing up though all right next one let's see one time i spent eight months trying to convince a vtuber to go out with me oh negative five million aura right there i was able to get a selfie from her and i once got her to call herself little fish princess on stream which was a name that i used when emailing her as well as a handful of other antics i never got her to go out with me but i can say for certain she knows who i am i eventually got banned because her mods found out negative five million aura Aura. Eh. <laughs> I've never understood the thing where it's like having a crush on a VTuber. More specifically, if you've never like seen their faces. I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm just very superficial. I feel like I can't be with someone ugly. <laughs> That's not my thing. If that's your thing, that's okay. For me, personality is the biggest attraction. However, I've dated guys that I thought were like kind of ugly and they've still treated me poorly. So I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna be treated poorly by both handsome men and ugly men, I think I would rather be treated poorly by handsome men. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, next one, next one. My first boyfriend in middle school cheated on me, so I took two laces, those little insects from hair from someone I knew, and I put it in his hair. He couldn't go to a barber anymore, and a lot of people stopped talking to him. What? Insects from hair? Do you mean like lice? You gave him lice? Dude, that's crazy! What the? No! <laughs> you gave him lice? What the hell? That's literally just a bio weapon. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon attack. Your boyfriend cheats on you, you got your pocket lice. <laughs> Okay, let's get my reading glasses on. I had a crush on a girl in my first grade class. She was really smart and she had an intelligent and studious aura that I liked. Once at recess, I was playing with her on the field. I was a big Sonic fan at the time and I wanted to recreate a scene from the game. I grabbed her hand and started running as fast as I could. The only problem was I didn't know she couldn't keep up. I thought that as long as she held my hand, she would match my pace, but that was not the case. She ended up tripping and scraping her knee. I apologize. Sorry. I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> I want to be Sonic and you could be Amy. And then he turns around. She's like mincemeat on the pavement. He turns around. The only thing left of her is her hands. <laughs> Sorry. If this is you, I apologize. This is just really funny. Another time was when we were on the bus. She was sitting somewhere else and I wanted her to sit with me. I asked her to sit with me and she refused. I impulsively grabbed her hand and spun it in a 360 over my head that twisted her arm. I made especially sure it didn't hurt her just caused mild discomfort. She ended up sitting with me after that. Oh, it worked! The first grade Riz. After all of that, we actually did end up being boyfriend and girlfriend. She was my first girlfriend and I still remember her name to this day. We did break up soon after. I saw her sitting next to a classmate and his arm was over her shoulder. I avoided her and him after that. That was heartbreaking. Aww. Dude, they were the first grade power couple. Aww. You get plus one aura for sharing this with me. Next story. Went in for my first kiss, accidentally accidentally headbutted the poor girl. That's cute. He went in for the kiss. So that's a win right there on its own. You know what I mean? Plus 0.5 aura. Wait, should I share some of my stories? I was talking to my crush one time. We were walking to my car. He asked me a question and then I opened my mouth to say something and a bug flew directly into my mouth and I choked on it. And then he looked over and he was like really concerned. He was like, what happened? Because I was literally just like choking. The big old bug just flew into my mouth. Yeah, we still went out after that. So it was all good and we were all good to go. What happened? Did a bug fly in your mouth? Oh. I'll get that for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another story. I was out on a date and after a lovely day at an art museum, we decided to have pho. We were sitting at our table and my cheesy ass wanted to be a little flirty, a little cute. So I took a seat next to her instead of across from her so I can brush my shoulder against hers and crap. So our food comes and we dig in. We've been eating for like a minute when someone turns on the fan and blows our pile of napkins on the table. I try to stop them from blowing away and in the process knock my bowl of boiling hot pho off the table and right into her lap. She's now yelling cause ouch and I'm yelling cause panic. I try to pat her down with the paper napkins that haven't been blown away which doesn't do all that much but all that achieves is making us both uncomfortable cause now my hands are all over her thighs on the first date got pretty hot and spicy there real fast <laughs> that was a miscalculation on your part but you know what you were going for the whole time i see you the way that you worded this you know you got my my hands were all over her thighs <laughs> 
can hear you salivating over your keyboard. Minus 100 aura. I too got negative riz. I've never been on a date, but been rejected plenty. It's okay, you know? If you want your time to come, it will come. I believe that. You know why I believe that? It's because if crackheads can find love, then I'm sure that you can find love. Crackheads are having like crackhead babies and stuff. I think that if you want to find love, you can find love. Most cursed motivational speech. <laughs> Uh, anyways, next one. <laughs> My first day of public school in kindergarten, I stood up on a lunch table and screamed, If you think farting is funny, stand up. I was sent to the principal's office. <laughs> Plus one million aura. That's funny. That's so funny. He tried to rally the kindergartners. <laughs> I would have jumped up. We we're like, My people, we finally assembled. That's just a good story. This next one has a name. The nightclub incident. One night, during a friend's birthday party, I was invited to a club to hang out and party. For context, I was like 20 at the time. I was chilling, drinking soda, since I don't like alcohol. Then I saw this woman at the bar, super duper gorgeous, and she was just enjoying her drink and the music. So I thought, hey, she seems like someone who'd be fun to talk to. I approached her. I started a conversation and it went well. She liked literature too, and we kept talking for a while, like for half an hour straight. Then she asked if I was dating or if I had a girlfriend at the time. I did not. This prompted her to be more flirty with me. And mind you, I was not aware of her being flirty until I told my friends this story. Continuing with this, she asked if I had protection. I thought, I mean, yeah, I could fight people. <laughs> I can fight people, but I don't have like a weapon. So yeah, why not? I can protect people. So I said, yeah, I do. She gestured to follow her so that we can have some fun in her words. Now, I didn't know this was going there at the time since I was a sweet summer child. As my friends have told me, my brain, since I thought, you know, stranger danger went, oh, she's going to murder me somewhere outside the club and nobody is around. I got to do something quick. I told her I needed to go to the bathroom and I jumped out the window, <laughs> ran three to four blocks the opposite direction, stayed at a McDonald's and called my mom this is so funny i just give this like plus five million aura mom please pick me up this woman just asked if i had protection she's gonna jump me <laughs> that was that for the day thank you everyone who entered your embarrassing stories and things that was really really fun i appreciated all the stories bye bye